Now, this is a very good episode. Now, I originally thought that from the beginning, this episode was going to be meh, or even bad. <clears throat> but I was pleasantly surprised. But I'll explain that later. This episode begins with Junior, Cody, and Joseph watching. Could it be? Oh, hallelujah! Our Savior has returned! <coughs> I mean, <coughs> Doofy! <laughs> yes, j just Doofy is on the television, and we see him trying to brush his teeth. Then Doofy realizes he has no teeth, and chews the toothbrush and toothpaste. Great Doofy segment! Then Chef Pee Pee tells the three that dinner is ready. Joseph and Cody get chips and pizza rolls, and Junior gets pizza rolls and... Broccoli. Junior obviously complains, but Chef Pee Pee tells him that Bowser told Chef Pee Pee to make it for him, and that if he doesn't eat it, Junior will get beat. Junior goes back to the table, and we get introduced to one of Cody's jokes, that being that he eats with his face. Okay... Junior tries to bribe Joseph and Cody to eat his broccoli, but doesn't have enough money to do so. And we get... Uh, no, I like men. Such a faggot, Cody. Joseph suggests Junior hides the broccoli under his placemat, and Junior actually believes it will work. Junior tells Chef Pee Pee he is done eating, but Chef Pee Pee doesn't believe him. Chef Pee Pee asks to know why his placemat is so lumpy, and Junior claims that the placemat is pregnant. Seems legit. Junior doesn't get away with his lie and is forced to eat the broccoli off the table. Junior comes up with another idea where he flushes the broccoli down the toilet by putting it in a napkin. Is it just me, or does this sound familiar to a certain content creator we know? I would roll up the food in a napkin and put it in my pockets, or I would take really, really big bites of food and say I had to use the bathroom. I'd go in the bathroom and spit the food out in the toilet. And I'm sure it's just coincidence. And, surprisingly, the plan works. Wow, um, hey, Chef Pee Pee, did you, like, go down a few IQ points? Or are you just off your game or something? Or do people actually buy this? Whatever. Chef Pee Pee actually buys the fact that he ate the broccoli, and he lets Junior watch TV. You get another joke from Cody. Well, you, you know what you didn't eat? What? My, 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 my butthole, because you like it. If you like what? what? If the offer's open, I such a faggot, Cody. Oh wait, I forgot to mention a new character, the alleg- uh, I mean crocodile. Now, I was so glad that this reptile was in this video, because this video would have been mediocre without him. At this point in the video, I had meh feelings toward the video. It was another typical Bowser Jr. plot, but it all changed when I saw this crocodile. The crocodile goes up to Jr. and his friends, and they mistake him for an alligator. The crocodile explains to them the difference in a funny cutaway gag. Then they go back to the scene almost as if nothing had happened. It frankly was one of the highlights of the video for me because it was so funny. The crocodile wants to know where the food is, and Junior tells him it's in the kitchen. The crocodile scares off Chef Pee Pee and starts eating all the food a la Chef Poo Poo's kitchen disaster. Chef Pee Pee calls a crocodile hunter and we have a funny joke. You'll never guess who the person is. The Brooklyn, insert profession here, is back, guys! We get a funny joke about how he failed the football team, especially with no legs. Then we get to him making a deal with the crocodile that if he can catch a football, the crocodile will leave. The crocodile throws the football, and we get a predictable but funny joke. Eventually, the two work out a deal where the crocodile can be the new garbage disposal. And then the episode ends. In the end, I thought it was funny. This entire video was pretty good. However, there is something that keeps this from getting anywhere above the color green range, despite how good it was. That being, the beginning. This episode was great once the crocodile came in, and the Doofy segment, I have to admit, was one of his best performances yet. But I can't give this a color blue range rating, just because of the beginning felt way too much like the setup for any other junior video, and it goes on until the nine and a half minute mark. Had the crocodile come in 
earlier and had there been less junior I think this episode would have been color blue material but either way this episode gets a 4.5 out of 5 or color green range rating nice job Logan well see you guys in the next video That's right, folks. Get your brand new Crocomatic garbage disposal unit for only $9.95, plus shipping and handling. Save dozens on that utility bill and have a live creature to show in your home. But remember, supplies are limited. So order now at 123-456-7890. That's 123-456-7890. Call toll-free now. WH Duty Company and Slam Home Productions are not responsible for any damage that Crocomatic may do to your house, food, or wiener. Please do not use the Crocomatic if you're actually normal and have a brain. Also, please do not call the toll-free number. We think it's fake. And if it is real, you'll probably call someone from China or whatever. 